In this video, we shall talk about two more measures of central tendency, the mode and the median. So what is the mode? The mode of a data set is the most frequently occurring observation. Let's say, for example, this is our data set. So what is the most frequently occurring observation? Well, it's easy to see because we only have, we only have eight elements. So two is the mode of, the, of this data set. But just in case your data set is large, what you can do is you can produce a, you can produce a tally. Okay, so you can ask the help of your classmate. Let's say, for example, this is a group work and you have a large data set and you must work on the mode manually. You can make a tally. So five, you have one, two, and then for two, how many two do you have? You count it. One, two, three, four, five. For one, you only have one, one. So here the mode is two. The mode of a data set can be unimodal or bimodal. It is unimodal when the data set has only one mode. It is bimodal when the data set has two modes. So let's say, for example, this is the results of your quiz in physics. It is a 10-point quiz. So how do we interpret this bar graph? Well, how many students got a score of 10? Well, there are five students who got a score of 10. How many students got a score of 8? Okay, there are 10 students who got a score of 8. How many students got a score of 5? There are 2 who got a score of 5. So in this data, the most frequently occurring observation is 8. The mode is 8. This is an example of a data set that is unimodal. How about this? Let's say, for example, this is the result of your quiz in General Biology 1. How many students got a score of 10? Well, there is only one student who got a score of 10. There are two students who got scores of 9, 8. Three students got a score of 7. Two students got a score of 4. But there are 10 students who got a score of 5 and also another 10 who got a score of 6. So in this data set, we have two modes. Our modes are 5 and 6. So this one is an example of a bimodal data set. Median. Given a ranked list of n numbers, if n is odd, the median is the middle value in the list. If n is even, the median is the mean of the two middle values in the list. Let us find the median of the following list. What is the median in this list? Well, we must first check if this is a ranked list. A ranked list means that your elements had been sorted out either, either in ascending manner or descending manner. So this one had been sorted out. It's been ranked from lowest to highest. So we can jump into looking for the median. So finding for the median is like folding this. You can imagine this to be a strip of paper and we will fold it along the middle and it will fall right there. It will not fall along a particular number because you have, how many uh, elements do we have? We have 10 elements in the list. So folding it in the middle will not fall at a particular number. So what we do is we look for the average of the two middle values. So what is the average of 11 and 12? So it's going to be the midpoint of 11 and 12, which is 11.5. That is the median in this list. Find the median in the list. We cannot jump into looking for the median right away because this is not a ranked list. We must first sort this list, either from lowest to highest or from highest to lowest. So we can do it from lowest to highest. Now, how many elements do we have 
in the list we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so in this case what you can do is you can imagine this to be a strip of paper you will fold it in the middle and where the middle falls is your median. So in this case, your median is 16. You know, the process of looking for the mode or the median can be a cumbersome task if you were to do it manually. Let's say, for example, you have 1,000 elements in your data set. Just how are you going to look for the median and how are you going to look for the mode? Well... If those elements are already encoded in a file, let's say, for example, Excel file, well, these are the things that you can do. Excel has a function for looking for the median and for the mode. So let us look for the median of this data set. Excel has the function median. I will type the equal sign, and then I will type median, and then I will just highlight the, all the elements in my data set. And then I will uh, close it with a parenthesis. That's it. It's 4.75. So the median in this data set is 4.75. How about the mode? Let us look for the mode. Again, you press the equal sign and then type mode. Open parenthesis and then highlight again the range of your data set and close it with a parenthesis. What is the mode? The mode is 5. So when your data set is large, it's not practical to do it manually. You can use Excel to help you find the median and the mode.